Hello and welcome guys. As you read the title, I'm going to show you how to live stream using this point-and-shoot camera. This is a Sony Cybershot DSD W55. Alright, I'm going to go into deep explanation and tell you what you need. So, you're going to need a camera, obviously. Make sure it's charged. It's got a full battery in there. Let me take the battery out and show it to you guys. So the camera takes G batteries. You're gonna need Sony G batteries. If you don't have one, you can get a knockoff brand. Uh, but this is what you're gonna need. You're also gonna need to make sure that you have SD card. So this takes, uh, you're gonna need a Memory Stick Duo Pro Duo. That's what this camera uses. You know, put it in here. I haven't tried it without it, but you're definitely gonna need that for video purposes, okay? And then you're going to stick the battery in. We're going to go into deep detail, guys, and I'll show you step by step what you need to do. Next step is you're going to need to connect the cable that came with your Sony camera. Here's the cable that comes with it. So it's very specific cable, guys. So if you don't have this, you're going to have to order it online because it's very specific. It's not a USB. I'm going to show it to you right now. You see this connecting part right here? You're gonna need that for the camera. And then this part, this is what you're gonna connect. This is your video out, so this is the important part, the yellow one, and this is for your audio right here. Now you can also do the USB, but that's more or less for the transfer, but you, you know, these are the two main ones that you're gonna need right here. Very specific cable. And let me show you right now how it connects to the camera. Okay, so you have your cable. What you're going to do is facing you. All right, now you're going to connect the cord to the camera, okay? So it goes in like that. So now it's in, and you're almost ready to go. Uh, the only problem with this, if you're going to use it when it was a webcam, see where the socket is for your tripod. That's the only downside. You're gonna to have to figure out how to connect that. So this part kind of sticks out, which is, uh, it's not a downside. You can get a clamp and you can clamp it on here so you can actually use it. Um, but if you can figure out how to connect that to a tripod, then you can set it up on a tripod. Okay, so now that you have that, the next piece of equipment that you need, you're gonna need, I, I have, the Pinnacle Studio USB, which is a video card, but any video card will work. So what do I mean by video card? Well, you just need a way for the camera to talk to your PC, okay? So any video card will work. Let me just show you what this does. So you have audio and video out, okay? That's what this means, audio and video out. So this is gonna to connect to your PC. So basically, any video card will either have a USB already attached. This particular one, we have the USB cable right here, and it's gonna to connect to this. is like all the signal that comes out of that camera, it's gonna go through this card right here, and it's gonna come out to this cable and into your PC via the USB right there. Okay. So what you're gonna do, now you're gonna take your cables right here. And as you notice, this arrow's pointing in, so this is your ends, but any video card will work. You're going to connect the yellow one. It's the most important one. It's the yellow one. It's going to go right in there. And the black one's your your audio. You can go to either one. Okay. So, in essence, this is exactly what it should look like when you're about ready to go. All right. But like I said, you can use any video card. It doesn't have to be this one specifically. But it'll work. It just needs, your PC needs to detect a signal. Okay, so now you got your card and your battery is inside. 
your camera is now connected via the cable here and it's connected to the in audio video of the video card and then there's your out okay now let me show you what it looks like in the menu all right so let's now jump into the program and let me show you how to get that screen out so you can live stream with your point and shoot cameras namely the sony cybershot all right guys let's go to it okay so now you have everything connected everything that i showed you everything's connected to your pc via the usb and now we're going to open up obs but let me just say this because i didn't see it previously you can use this in zoom you can use this in power director uh, as long as you got your video card whatever it is uh whatever it's called this one's called pinnacle studios but as long as it's a video card that will let you use uh, audio video signal from your camera to your PC via USB will work. All right, so let me just say that. So now we're gonna just use OBS because it's free and it's easy to obtain. We're gonna open up OBS and I'm gonna show you how to grab the video signal coming out from your camera and we're gonna go step by step. Okay, that's coming up. All right, so now we got OBS open. This, uh, this first screen here is the preview screen and uh, let me show you how to find your DSC. Now your the Sony's connected. Let's open that up and let's add that as part of your display here. And this is how you'll be able to use it to stream. So we're gonna go to a video capture device. Okay. Um, we're gonna just leave it at that because I already have this one as GH2. That was the one that I'm doing the tutorial with. So let's just open it up. And now see here, it says device, just find the one that says Pinnacle Studio Systems USB. So there it is, that's the one we want. And there it is, so now it's going, we're gonna hit okay. And now I'm just gonna enlarge my, minimize my screen here and I can, I'm gonna walk you through a few steps that I, I didn't get a chance to uh, mention the last time I set this up. So, all right, now I gotta, I gotta point it the other way, but, um, let me just show you uh, that I was able to get rid of a lot of uh, a lot of the different display icons and stuff with the exception of the infinity signal here. All right, so let me show you a few things here. Um, let's open up the menu and I wanna show you how to set this up. Okay, so you got your different color modes here, right? Normal, you can do sepia, you can do black and white, whichever you want. Um, just leave that alone all right so normal like if you if you scroll down on these you see that center one multi if you if you leave it like that let me just show you what that looks like let's just uh, get out of there you see that square then that square up here so the way to get rid of that just go into the menu go into the multi if you can do and if you see if you do five meters let's do the five meters and see what that looks like see now it shows five meters at the bottom so i don't know exactly how to get rid of all that um it, it just stays on so what i found is this like i guess the one that doesn't look so bad is the infinity one all right but let's uh let's go down to the metering i have him on multi uh there's your white balance you can mess with your white balance uh incandescent seems to work okay for me or fluorescent I, I guess it all depends on your taste and where you're going to be filming in right i had it set to auto but uh let's just do incandescent and leave it at that all right so now here is where you get it like deeper into the menu of the setup so let me just show you on the camera you see all these uh, leave everything as is and then uh, in order to shut off all that display see that what was showing up earlier on my previous tutorial was this function guide make sure that that's turned off just make sure all these are turned off uh, I wouldn't worry so much about the auto review but anyways uh, this one here the function guide that's the one you want off so it won't show all those uh, text on your screen so let me let me just show you just as an example so you can see what I'm talking about so we go back to menu and see like now you got all these 
numbers and stuff. Um, so you can just, you can also hit display and it'll get rid of it as well. So either way, but I, what I like to do is actually just be in the menu. You know what I mean? And then just, just turn it off. That way you don't have anything running like that. Just shut that off. Okay, let's, uh, let's keep going here. Let's see what else we need to do just in case. Uh, here, this is just for your LCD, which is not on. It's completely black. I'm only seeing this on the display that is connected via USB. Um, we don't need to do anything here. But here is something that uh, it could be useful to you if it's not working. Um, see this USB connection? When, it, when you first put it on, if you have it on mass storage or pick bridge, the video might not work. So I, I, I should just put it on PTP or you can just put it on auto. It's usually, it's worked on auto for me without any issues. It's, let's just get out and see. See it's working, but it's showing me that display. So let me uh, go in here. So let's go in there and uh, instead of auto, let's, let's go to PTP and see what that looks like. So if you do PTP, it looks like the on the on screen uh, text is gone, and then that's it. Okay, another thing that I need to mention is that I, I have used this to stream with. I actually streamed on it uh, a few weeks ago. I'll put a link to that video here right now. Um, you can go check that out. Uh, the battery is uh, one of these batteries. I'm gonna I'll show you in just a minute. Um, all right, so everything is connected now. Your menu is set up, and I explained it a lot deeper than I did last time. So you see what everything that, that's, that it's got going on. So all that is shut off. Just a quick review. Uh, video out. Make sure that uh, if you're in the United States, it's NTSC. You don't want it on PAL because then you're not on your PC in, in the United States. You're, it's not going to work. So make sure you have video out to NTSC as well. So that's very important. Um, okay, guys. So that's it. Um, let me, uh, let me turn it around. It's a little bit weird right there. Uh, but yep, there I am. Um, it just looks very strange. Okay. So there you are. It's working. It's working just fine. I think it looks pretty decent. Um, so yeah, you can stream on a full charge with these types of batteries this is a G it's called a G battery here. And, uh, you can stream with it for about an hour. And uh, if you, if it runs out, you can just kind of swap it and put another one in if you need to stream for more than two hours. Um, so there it is. Uh, it's going. Uh, I'm not going to go into how you will go stream, but you, when you're ready to stream, there's start streaming right down right down there. You just start streaming. Go to either YouTube, Facebook Live, Twitch, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's still going to stream no matter what you do. So that's it, guys. Uh, let me know uh, if you like the tutorial. Actually, I'm gonna uh, switch screens here because this one is a little bit of an inception going here. Okay, so that's it, guys. That's it for the tutorial. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you need any more help uh, regarding this. As far as the audio is concerned, uh, you'd be having the audio from the PC itself or the camera itself because you have the audio connection going right into the you so it's up to you whichever you want to choose but uh, uh more likely go with the pc audio because it'll be better than the camera audio because it's kind of far away from you anyway so that's it uh stay tuned i'm going to show you how to live stream with the jbc avario uh mg130 next we'll do that one and i hope you like this let me know uh what you think if you let me know if you got any more questions i try to go as deep uh, into detail as I could. Uh, the cord that you're using, you can get that on Amazon or eBay. It's Sony uh, W55 cord that's specific for the camera. And uh, But basically any point and shoot cameras I was showing you that has audio video out can be used like this. Alright guys, that's it for now. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Okay guys, here's a little bonus before we get into the PC. Let me just show you something that you can use this not only with the Sony camera, but you can use different cameras, right? So as an example, you can use the Canon, right? 
It's a Canon camera right there, point and shoot. This is uh, SD750. It's a little bonus for you guys, and it's not just that camera. And it's a little bit easier with some of these. So here's uh, Olympus. It's another point and shoot camera. These are very cheap. You find them very cheap on eBay. And uh, here's uh, also Nikon or Nikon camera, right? And the way that works, as long as you, st you still have your USB video card here, right? You can just connect them via the audio video out of the camera. So let me just show you. So it's an example. Let me just show you this one. Here's this, the Olympus. And see on the side here it says A audio video out right on the corner there. All right, so if you open that up, let me just show you. You have the connection. Should have came with the camera. You should have that cable right there. So if you have that cable, that will connect to your USB card, then you'll be able to do the same thing with this camera. Let me show you another one. Here's the Olympus. The Olympus also has audio video out right there. So if you open that up, should it, the camera should have came with that cable and you'll be able to do the same thing with this camera all right and let me just show you real quick here is Canon SD 750 and that one has it at the bottom I believe no it's on the side all right so you see it says audio video out on this Canon camera let me just open that up for you Okay, so you see the port, you see the port there? All right, so this one, you can either do the USB or if you have a, the cable that came with the camera, you can connect the camera using the cable just like this. Let's take a look. All right, so we connect the camera with that connection right there. That should give you a video signal out from the Canon. With this Canon, video out to the end of the pinnacle and out the USB. Okay, guys. So that was your little bonus there.